What's going on guys? Got a little different video for you guys today. Uh, last week, me, Willie, and Corby were taping uh, The First Word. It's one of our wrestling shows on Matt Scouts. It's on Rockfin. I'll link it underneath here, the bottom of the video, and in the description. Uh, we were taping the show and we were talking about the upcoming uh, Division One weekend. And we saw UNC was wrestling at home versus NC State and Virginia Tech. Thought those are some awesome duels to go check out. So. Two days later, we taped the show on Thursday, hopped in the car, drove seven hours to North Carolina. Uh, so, if you guys like this kind of stuff, uh, want to see more of this kind of content, uh, hit, hit that like button and uh, hit subscribe. And um, yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll do more of these in the uh, in the future. But for now, uh, enjoy the video. Thank you. We've just arrived at our Airbnb for the night that we're staying in for the next two days. Here we are. Uh, we found out that we got enough beds. And there there's not a TV to be found in the entire building. <laughs> Here's, I guess, what you call a living room with two office chairs. And Willie. Oh, four office chairs. I, I undersold it. There's two and two here. Ooh, we got four office chairs. Four office chairs. What? There's Willie's room. Hey, four Willie. Four office chairs. Willie's ready for a Nebraska tailgate here in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. There's some dogs. Go Huskers. Every room has two beds. If I told you this place had three bedrooms, how many rooms would you guess it had? Any beds? Would you say six? Because it's got six. Well, how, how many of you guys would go six beds, no TV, zero <laughs> Six beds, zero TVs, and it's 145 degrees in here. Is this how the master? With, how is this the master? Live? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> how are we supposed to live? listen? Corby, how will he get the master? There's zero TVs. Well, he's got, well, he's got a master in there. If well, there's, there's got no the master. TV, there's no master. Uh, no, but you got. How are we supposed to live with no TVs and a ten o'clock curfew? I have to watch the late games. Here's the real problem. We have a Wi-Fi code. Yes. That, that, is it gonna work like the other codes did? Yes. Because <laughs> the other codes didn't work that hot. All right, Will. Are you ready? I don't know. Well, let's go get some food. He's got, he's got Blind. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed by technology, I guess. Yeah, back in the day when we walked up hills both ways in the snow and then also had to kick our skateboards. <laughs> Alright, NC State, North Carolina. What are the thoughts? Quick, quick reaction was, uh, thoughts to that duel. I think that was a good duel. There were some close matches. 125, I mean, you got a 0 0 match going into the second period and he ends up tech falling him. I think he scored 19 points in four minutes. Um, yeah, I 41, think, great match. I think for North Carolina, a lot of what ifs. You could see, you know, what was interesting to see is from the jump, the way NC State, their bench was all in it. Like, their whole bench was up and cheering and let's go from the first whistle uh, uh, with Camacho. And so you knew that the duel meant a hell of a lot to them, right? Not mm -hmm. to say it didn't. It shouldn't always mean something to the team, but you know that they were bringing their A game tonight, right? Coaches and, within yeah within a minute they're 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 on the refs first match yeah constantly. So on the scoreboard it was lopsided, and you know I think what you look at is it was a seven three split. But Sherman had a lead with twenty seconds to go. Shaw was leading two takedowns to zero, gets pinned with one second left in the second period. Yep. Um, so it was close to being it was close to being five five, but it you know, Kennedy snuck one out there with the penalty point. Yeah. Um, Tariq and Kennedy kinda won the same way. They yeah. both kinda double leg got the guy chasing at the end. Yeah. 
And if you're Shaw, you're trying to stay out of those positions with Trumbull. Trumbull, that's what he does, you know? Without a doubt. So, um, two things to look forward to, really, is one, uh, when we're talking ACC, one, how UNC rebounds tomorrow against Tech. Two, how Tech and NC State match up going forward. Yeah. Yeah. I've already tested matches and start till the third period. <laughs> good job by, job by Tess. Tess. You know, I think I think it was a good thing for Tess that he, in, he got top second period. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is he gonna get back? He's gonna get back. Elevate. Here. I do too, Will. A minute and eight seconds to go right at the edge of that circle. But a lot of times the weak part of their game are the weak gus part Get your of hand out! Mastro, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, you why are you keeping your hand in? Why'd you stay? That's just, yeah, no matter. He kept his hand in and got turned. He could have took it out and got a restart. All he had to do is pull his hand out. Everybody was out with his hand. So did he get back there? Yeah. Two. Instead of four. Oh, uh, he has that a four, yeah. Okay. So he's gonna go down. Oh, man. Why? No, why? 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 He just, from, oh, well, don't. Right here. Don't get worried. Pull your hand out. Pull your hand out. Pull your hand out. You don't pull your hand out. Turn. Four. Match. Only points in the match. Master Giovanni wasn't expecting we'll talk to about go that. that way. And catches him for four. And young oh, Corby, 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 this is where I thought Master the match could be made. Yeah. Why would you go he bottom? One count. He gets one. one. Got one. Got one. Yep. Two. That's it. One. Two. two. Trying to roll out of it here. Two. Why would you go not bottom? Six seven, ones. One count. What? <laughs> Willie's new segment idea yeah, for the show. Yeah, new segment idea. Turn down for what? Because there's every week there's at least one that you take down that you take bottom for what Teske's riding master giovanni really well for two full minutes so maybe maybe you take top okay if you don't want to take top neutral right don't take bottom master's been riding neutral. everybody you put yourself at risk for a turn and then within the first 10 seconds of the third period he started almost getting swipes yeah exactly and so what's the point point? and so every week there's one of those you know we bang the drum on Vestita a million times but um I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it weekly, and so maybe somebody starts buying the, the Willie Sailor sauce. You know, don't take bottom, dude. The the auto bottom, auto escape point. It's like, it's like Stockholm syndrome. It's like, it, it, it's 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 a psychological disaster in wrestling. Yeah. Walk into the arena now. Quick thoughts for wrestle Virginia Tech, UNC, at the Woods Hall um, last night. My thoughts are, and we're getting into this on the show a little bit, is that we watched this morning, 12 o'clock, Penn State come out, look a little flat, right? They didn't. They certainly weren't clicking on all cylinders because of a long layoff, right? We haven't long seen them. Layoff. This is their first match. This is the first time they're weighing in, the first match. Similarly, UNC was a little flat last night. So and Virginia they, had a long, they had a long layoff. So let's see how UNC rebounds here. Uh, keeping their weight down for two straight days. Um, I think, you know, beyond the matchups, which we've talked about on the show, that's what I think we're looking at right right away to start here. All right, let's get on top. As I travel around and go to more and more venues, I, I've seen cooler and cooler places. And, you know, the biggest places aren't always have to be the best. This little Carmichael Arena, I mean, it's not really that little, but it is a pretty dope-ass venue to have some wrestling. You can get a packed house in here. Come on, now. I'd imagine last night's UNC NC State with a packed house. Electric, electric city. Virginia Tech, 23 UNC 9. What are you guys' thoughts on the duel so far today? Uh, I mean, I thought UNC, UNC fought harder at a couple weights than I really thought they would. Not, not to throw any shade at the kids, but <clears throat> they had a long layoff. They had back-to-back -back duels, maybe um, back-to-back weigh-ins too. Maybe a little disappointment after last night's performance, but even in losses, Hernandez fought hard late, and Hernandez is a guy that was cutting hard. Kennedy, who, you know, we saw kind of fade against Evan Wick a couple weeks ago, so you had to question his gas tank. He fought hard at the end. I mean, in third period, he's pushing the pace against Makai. And so, uh, I don't know, I, you know, it's gonna come down now to Tech and NC, NC State, State for the ACC title. That'll be fire. Yeah. And that is, we looked it up last night, but I already forget. 
Yeah, it's coming up. So, you know what? Sneaky Virginia as well, actually. It yeah. would be a great duel with North Carolina. So, I mean, Carolina, I mean, what what this weekend? They go three, they go three, three and seven, three and seven. So they go six and 14 mm -hmm. on the weekend. It's probably not what they were expecting. Well, they dropped, you know, Kane, Kane gas against time. Howard. But Howard's a guy that, that his, his top attribute is his gas tank, ever, ever, even since high school. Man, he never stopped coming. Uh, yeah, and that's how he was. Whole third period. He's a St. Ed's guy, you know? Yep. Uh, got to see him a lot in high school. And that's, he wasn't fantastic, like, technique, athleticism in high school. He was a goer. And uh, that's yeah. how he is here. I think Kane Matt had a Shaw. Big yeah, Shaw. You know what you got to like is, uh, I've, I've always been, um, 97 stinks, 97 so we, um, so shallow. Well, you got Trumbull, freshman, yep. Smith, freshman, Shaw, freshman. You got three freshmen in the ACC at 97 that, uh, you know, they're gonna be around for a long time, so. Um, so that's good. Interesting duel, fun yeah. weekend. Interesting duel, fun weekend. Man, you know, I don't know, we're gonna have to start coming up with a list of bad calls this weekend. So oh, as we're watching the duels here, the duel here, <laughs> We're looking at other places around the country, and this guy was bad. This guy was bad, terrible bad. Really bad. And Shout out to Brian Snyder one time. I'm watching the Lehigh duel. That's terrible. Malik Hines totally got hosed. Um, there was a call, I think, Gear. Gear gave up a takedown. They reviewed, and they yes. called it no. That was bad. So we're going to have some research to do on the show next time. Uh, we'll go through all the bad calls we see. And now we got a seven-hour drive home. Do it. Seven hours to Easton, Pennsylvania, baby. Let's go. Well, finally home. Uh, long day of travel after the duel. Uh, seven hours back home from Chapel Hill to Willie's house, an hour and a half from Willie's house back to my house. I'm beat. Uh, I'm gonna sleep for however long tomorrow. Got a whole day of photo editing and video editing left to do tomorrow of the duels and this video. Um, yeah, so that'll that'll be all for this video, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>